if this could be any way you wanted it to be, how would you have it? If this was a magical fairy tale land, whatever you want it to be, if you were the creator, what would it be? The uncertainty principle says that we can't know the position of a particle with accurately without being inaccurate on the velocity of the particle and vice versa. And so this gave rise to quantum mechanics and we have the double slit experiment and as way of a particle and it, depending on the observer how it behaves. And then we have cones of light. We have a zero point source being nothing emitting light and this representing past and future and coincidentally emit is time spelled backwards. What if science wasn't separate from emotions, from relationships, wasn't separate from suffering, and what if that we call them emotions <laughs> had a lot to do with this and it was all just really, really shedding the light on us, on who we are? What if if this could be anything, what would you have it be? Do you think that we can know that we can shine the light and know how smart another person is or how good they are or how capable they are, really? How worthy of our love they are. This isn't considering whether you're hiring them for a position, that would be different. This is, are they worthy of my love? <laughs> Where am I in this hierarchy of things? But hierarchy and pride are always two sides of the same coin. You have the pride and you have the insecurity of trying to figure out where I am. Apply the uncertainty principle. You can't know without totally, you can't accurately know without making what you don't know even more inaccurate. I was reading my son the Diary of a Wimpy Kid book and there was a section in it that I absolutely loved. So Greg, the main character, goes to church and they were talking about how Jesus would come back and would manifest himself as a human and you wouldn't know. And so you need to be kind to everybody. But Greg felt very uncomfortable by this because he felt with his luck he would be tying the shoe of this man on a park bench while pretending that he's the person he is but he really knows he's Jesus while Jesus himself comes walking by and he misses it. And it's hilarious because we think that importance or divinity in whatever way we've scattered it to believe that it appears as only appears in some places and we miss that zero point, the source of it, and that emotion indicates the lens or the accuracy with which we're seeing it. And so the worse you feel, the more inaccurate, the more you've gone away from this point, the more you've traveled out emotion. If it was a perf, if it could be any way you wanted it to be, how would you have it? Wouldn't you have everybody be a total and complete mystery? What if everybody really is like Jesus Christ? Every single person in your interaction that you attract with them is divine. Even when it's frustrating, even when it's whatever else, it's just the emotion letting you know. And what if we're here co-creating and people offer contrast which shows us more clearly what's not the light and what is the light so that we can go towards 
what it is we truly are and <laughs> it's only complete uncertainty it's only the complete mystery that knows that truly clearly sees without that delay without that margin of error And it's funny how we get into a standoff where if we feel like we're not truly being seen, then in that moment we can't see ourselves or we can't see anyone else. And just like time is emits spelled backwards, this is, it has no, love doesn't travel in any sort of direction really it doesn't come from anyone to anyone there's no giver or receiver so if you're feeling a lack of love all you have to do is choose something that you appreciate in order to let the love in and you're back right here to the source to the nothingness to god christ consciousness You are the light, and there's no separation between you and the world. The light really isn't shined on anything, which is exactly why it changes it as soon as it hits it. 